this is Byron. Who's always very concerned? Well, why are you concerned? Asking others why are you concerned over and over. Why does that concern no you? Reason. Why does that concern you? Byron's angry. Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned? Yeah. Why? Why? Yeah, why? Why are you concerned? Byron's got me concerned. Oh, Byron, why are you concerned? How should I know? Why? 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 I don't even know who you are. Oh, Byron. Are you still why? talking? Is there a point to this? How should I know? Byron says, is there a point to this? No. Oh, Byron, Byron, there's a point to this, but it's not for you to know. Oh, okay. Oh, Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned? Why? Why? Yeah, why? Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned? Why are you concerned? Who cares? Hello and welcome to episode 103 of Madhouse Militia Presents, Boiling Eggs in the Paranormal Hotel Tub. This episode features songs that were created with Suno, which is an AI-based application to generate music and songs. I hope you enjoy some of the songs. The first one was a song about Byron, the concern bot. At the end of the show, you'll find a song about Carlito Cross, and it's a banger, I tell you. The show is supported by the following people such as Dwight the Janitor Wasted Memory from RogueServer.com which is where we host the show weekly Friday nights at 10pm Eastern 7pm Pacific at RogueServer.com forward slash AKSPA We also wish to thank Dragomir for the corn down at Corndown.com We also wish to thank our patrons such as Brian N, Mig Chungus Jayad, Ryan T Travis B, Gold Rust Cordo, Parkman, Crispy808 MST3 Clay Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbois, Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Farts 666, Jesus Penus, and Turbo the High Level Squirrel. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more at immoralhole.com. You can find our show archives at travelswithmiriam.com. You can find our live show at immoraljuice.com or rogueserver.com forward slash AKSPA. If you wish to contribute to the show, you can visit patreon.com forward slash madhouse militia. Or visit immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. Tell them about the Hello? Hi, yeah, uh, I found a crack in the wall here. And uh, my, my, my brother, he, he took a look at the crack too. And he, tra- he traveled his finger across and it seems, uh, you know, there's a seam in the wall now. I don't know if it was there before or not. But now my brother's acting all wild and crazy. You know anything about this? No, so I don't know. A light com- what, what room are you in? Oh, it's uh, there's 215. There's a light coming from the crack. There's a glowing light from the here, crack. Here, here. You, you take the phone. You talk to him. I'm tired of this shit. Uh, hello? Yeah, how can I help you? Hello? Yes, Yeah, hello? I found a crack in the drywall. Yeah, I found a crack in the drywall. Mm-hmm. And so I was curious what was inside of it, so I took my shoehorn... And I kind of pried it open some more, and there's some glowing light in the wall or something, like mm. some. Yeah, uh, it's so like when I put my last, arm through the, the last crack, name? it disappears. And what's the last uh, name? Johnson. On the room? Johnson. Mm, no, never heard of it. Yeah, I don't have a Johnson on two. But it's weird. Like I put my hand through the crack, and my hand disappears, yeah. and then when I take it out, I see my hand again. Mm. So weird. 
Yeah, it is. I know. I probably would. I'm yeah, probably, like uh, when I when I yeah I when I put just, my fist yeah, through the TV. Mm-hmm. But I punched the TV and my hand went like through it, and I couldn't see my hand. Oh, and when I pulled my hand back out of the hole that I punched in the TV, I could see it again. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll call Bocopedia and see if they can help you with that. Maybe I'll send them up and see if they can help oh, you with no. that, okay? No, I'm, I'm not a citizen. I was, I'm was. i from Madagascar. Okay. okay. I'm, my name yeah. is well, King could, Julian. Okay. Well, you can let Bocopedia know that when I, when I send them up, okay? No. I don't know where you're from. I can make you physically, physically fit, you know? Thank you for calling. Send us a select of Boca. Robert speaking. May I help you? Hello? Robert, hello. Can you hear me? Uh, uh, yeah, a little bit better. Oh, okay. All right. I was just wanting to check and see if it's okay. My brother and I are here, and we're out in the hallway right now. And uh, we got our rascal scooters out here in the hallway. And uh, we were going to take a couple races up and down the hallway. We wanted to make sure you could keep everybody out of the hallway. Is that all right? No, we don't. We have guests coming in and out. I wouldn't recommend it. Well, just a rascal scooter. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. No. Okay. For the safety of all the guests, I'm sorry. I gotta start it up right now. Now, my brother, he's about ready to take off here, so watch out. Here, here. Oh, he's already taking off. Wait, wait. Axel. Axel. Come back. I'm sorry. I got another call. I got, a, oh. I got, a, got another call. It's no call. Uh, <laughs> it's I, still my impression of AI. No, no, I'm saying I hate AI. Thank you for calling. Hello? 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 Uh, front person, hello? Hi, good Damn evening. AI How are you? Bots. Hello? 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 I'm pressing zero to talk to a human. Human! Hello? Hi, thank you for calling law firm workers and lawyers speaking. How may I assist you? Oh, you're you're a real... Yeah, I am. Oh, thank God. I I, I keep getting stuck in uh, the phone menus. It's all it, you know. It talks it talks to you and it tells you, oh, you know, you know, say you know, blah 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 to get here. And I just press a button and it goes, oh, invalid entry, invalid entry. So I thought you were one of those because it sounded like you said invalid entry. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Is there anything I can help you with, sir? Yeah, where's the horse? What horse? Oh, uh, the horse face one. Is that you? <laughs> no, is there anything I can help your restaurant related, sir? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was bringing a horse, and he was hungry. I was wondering if you sold horse food. That's all. Hello, thank you for calling the hot place in Boca Raton. This is Sarah. How may I help you? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, uh, option two, please. Option two, and Espanol. Sorry, um, no Spanish. No Spanish? No. Uh, what's option three? Uh, just English? We don't have anyone on the okay. f- on duty right now that speaks Spanish. Yeah, but I I don't speak Spanish. I speak English. So we're all good then. Well, I mean we've, we haven't even gotten to the root of the issue here. So why are you breathing I, so heavily? Are you okay? Can I please put you on a hold? No, no, you can't do that. I'm an aristocrat. I'm a, I'm a very important person. And, okay, how um, may I help you? I need a, I need a table for 50 people. This is a hotel. Um, the restaurant is next door. You're gonna have to call them. Oh. Well, I meant in my room. I need a big table brought up to my room. 
We can't do that. I'm sorry. Well, I have to eat dinner with somebody, and because I'm, you know, so sophisticated and important, I need to sit at the far end of the table away from them. And I think, you know, a very, very long table would be appropriate. Yeah, give me one second. Yours. Our modern, spacious guest rooms allow you to spread out, work, or relax. Stay connected with free Wi-Fi. In this chair. Hello? Hello? Hi, yeah. When I got into the room, I sat on a chair, and it went right through. What am I supposed to do about this? Where'd I been? Yeah, I sat on the chair, and it went right up. Up and inside. Calling from which room? Oh, the, the room with the chair and the uh, the plant is right what? here. Yeah, it's right here, you know, near the lobby here. I'm sitting here, and I sit down, and the chair goes right up. It swallowed me whole. What's your room you know number? What I mean? Oh no, I'm in the lobby here. Which lobby? Oh, the main lobby, I thought. Or maybe this is the second lobby? Because there hasn't been anyone by in a while. I don't see any like any workers. But I'm sitting in lobby too. Where, which <laughs> room are you? Well, I was in the bathroom here. And then the, the man with the... With the ro- rosy, rosy red cheeks. He, he said, oh, what are you doing in there? Machine. Fuck yeah. Thank you for calling the Pendulum Deerfield Beach. How can I direct your call? How Hello? Are you today? How can I help you? Can you come to the front desk, please, and hurry up? I'm sorry? You heard me. Take me to the front desk and hurry up. Good evening. Thank you for calling Dollar Sands. How may I assist you? Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Well, I does the water go any hotter in here, like in the bathtub? Um, it just goes to as hot as you turn it. Cause it's, I don't think it's doing it right because the, the eggs aren't, aren't boiling correctly and we're trying to color them for Easter. Um, yeah, it just goes to as hot as you turn it to. Like if, if you turn it all the way, that's as hot as it goes. Okay, is there any way that it, like, it could be made hotter? Like, like, what do we do? Everyone's gone for the night already. It's 1045. Okay. Um... Because I, I see, that, you know, under the bathtub, like, there's a little access panel probably for getting at, at plumbing and stuff. I was wondering if I put, like, a little like a little uh, campfire under there, if it would heat the tub up hot enough. Oh, I would not suggest that. But why? why? It's not a flammable tub. It's, it's, it's sturdy. It's made of some, like, real, real rock-hard stuff. And, like, I, I just need it to boil for 10 to 12 minutes until the eggs are done. Yeah, I can't. We're not supposed to have fires in the room, obviously, but. But yeah, it'll be contained though. It'll be just under under the bathtub. So I think it'll I, it it should be okay, right? No, I cannot suggest that. No, definitely not. Oh, okay. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. I I I get what you're throwing down. We're we're not gonna put a fire under the tub and make it boil. I I got it. You get, recorded lines. I get it. Okay. I. Wonderful. What was your name? McKinley. All right, hang on. I'm writing this down. McKinley said it's okay to put in the access panel underneath the bathtub to boil my eggs for Easter. Great! I got it wrote down just in case there's a complaint. I, I know who I talked to. Okay, but I'm saying not to do that. I, I know what you're saying. You're saying not to. I know. Why don't I, I you just it. wait until the morning and then you can just ask the restaurant and they can do it for you? Uh, well, because at midnight it's Easter, and that's when the f- the festivities begin. Okay, what room are you in? Uh, I'm in 215, but I was thinking about using alcohol tabs for fuel. 
it, it totally won't melt the tub. I really don't think you should do that. Yeah, I, I know I shouldn't do that. I no, I get it. I get it. But you got to protect yourself. I understand. I understand. What, like, because I saw it. I, I saw it on TikTok. Hmm. So, right. it, I mean, it, it should be true. Do you want me to connect then. you to the kitchen and see if anyone can help you? No, no, I don't want to bother them. It's it's Easter. I, I'm more than capable of doing this on my own. All right. Do you think someone's in the kitchen though? Like maybe I can get some yeah, advice on try. how long to Hold cook on. these. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's try that. Okay. Okay. All right. Hi. Um, the lady from the front desk, Mackenzie, transferred me to you guys. Um, I'm currently accessing the panel underneath of my bathtub right now to put some uh, some sternos and some uh, alcohol fuel. Uh, we're trying to heat this tub up a little bit quicker so that we can hard boil the eggs before the Easter comes. Um, I needed to know, though, for somebody with experience in the kitchen, approximately what temperature I should try to get the tub to and for how long to cook them. Um, is this still a thing that actually shocked them when I'm done? I mean, they're just hard-boiled for Easter. We're not going to eat them or anything. We might throw them at the homeless or something after we're done. But that's neither here nor there. They should probably be as hard as possible. If you could, just go ahead and uh, get, give me a call back, and uh, that, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, please. What do you know, Melissa? Hi, uh, English. I'm from San Diego. Oh, yes, sir. I have a couple questions. Yes, of course. We want to go for spring break. Is it okay if we go? If, are you, are Hello? You, can, you ask again? can you ask again, please? We want to go for spring break. Is it okay for us to go? We're white people. Yeah, of course. If you want to. Nobody's going to get mad at us? I don't... I'm not sure, sir, of why are you asking me. Because we're scared. We don't want to get in trouble if we go. We're white people. We're going to Mexico. No, of course no, sir. Like, white... Uh, is it okay? Um, no. What's the laws? Like, what is the laws different? Sir, you're calling. You're calling. Are you trying to call to uh, some someone, some someone other place? You're calling. You're calling to a hotel, sir. We're yes. We want to get a room, but I'm calling to see if it's okay because we're white people from San Diego State. Okay, if it is safe. Yeah, like, is it safe? Are like, are people going to get mad at us or try to take our money? No, sir. I'm also Mexican. I'm also white. And I'm pretty sure that there's no trouble. No problem. You sound really pretty. Will you party with us? <laughs> no, so sorry. Why not? Well, is there, like, other girls there that we can talk to that will party with us? Is there like, um, what are they called, Pudas? Are there Pudas everywhere? Not for the moment, sir. You're Where do we go for that? Wrong. How do we go for the drinks? Huh? I don't know, sir. Can you tell us what part of Tijuana we can go for uh, marijuana, mota, um, cerveza, and Pudas? No, sir, sorry. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a great night. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we, should, we should try to find okay, out where the dump show is. Hi, bro. Um, English? Eh, no, pardon. We're from San Diego. Is there a person from English talking to us? Eh, ahorita por el momento no hay nadie. 
¿Quieres un cuarto para Spring sí, Break? Sí. Eh, ¿Tenemos ahorita habitaciones? Sí, ¿cuánto para comprar? ¿Para cuántas personas sería? Um, one, two. How many people want to go to the room? How many people is here with me? Eh, I'm, 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 I, I, I'm here. I got the mayo. Okay. Yeah, we're going to Tijuana. Uh, yes. I want to find a I want to find a nice Mexican girl to do the dipstick game with. Um, hey, big girl, is there, there. there? Is there girls? Is there um, mujeres? Permítame tantito. Did somebody just give birth? What is the boot of that? I don't want to see Morenas. How many Morenas can we see? Is that a cat? Bueno. No, don't let me no, no, please. Will Cheech and Chong be there? Buenos tardes, pendejos. How spicy is the salsa going to be? What about the corn tortilla? Their spices be fucking spicy. It's gonna burn your butthole when you take a shit. The only thing I don't like about gyros is they fucking yogurt. I got pissed one time, bro. They put fucking Greek yogurt on my shit. I was fucking mad. Did you fuck them? It's a problem today. I let in. Is it Juan? Dwight. Why is it a promising day? Say it one more time. Why is the day promising? What type of bullshit are you trying to peddle? Um, how may I help you, sir? Well, I want to know. I want somebody to be honest with me if I'm going to come stay here. Like, don't just tell me it's a promising day. Come on, man. Is it really a promising day? What's going on? They make you say that? I mean, no, it's just verbiage. So, basically... All right. I mean, I mean, what's promising about it? Is there a bunch of bitches floating around, man? What's going on? Come on, talk to me. Um, no, I mean, if you have them, you can invite them to your room if you stay here. Right, right, right. Like, I, I love you know, get me some hot el gato and bringing it back to my room. Yeah, I mean, when yeah. I say it's promising, I mean that we can, you know, accommodate you for whatever you need. Okay, cool. So, like, I want to get a chair, and I want to sit out in the lobby, and I want to kind of poach the, the hot trim that comes by. I want to be like, mm, come here, come here, mm, like that. Like, that's acceptable, right? That's not, like, harassment at all. I mean, yeah. I mean, I have plenty of chairs up here. All right, shit. There's, like, 12 of us, man. We're going to just we're gonna get in a line, and they just come to us. Yeah, just go ahead. I'm the ugly one, so I make the others look good. <laughs> okay. So like, I get all the, okay. I get all the, all the, like basically if you, if like I got a type of steak, it would be the steak with all the fat on it. So like they come to me, so I get the trim, the trimmings, the fat trimmings of a woman, if it will. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. I, don't, I don't mind though, because it, it doesn't matter though, because you heat it up right and you baste it, it just melts in your mouth. It's all good. Oh yeah, I don't like, I don't like that on my steak. Ah, well you, you know, you should try it sometime. All right, we're going to come in. We're going to come in. We're going to sit down with you. You you sound wonderful. Okay. <laughs> no problem. All right. I, I'm a, I'm a fu- I'm a fucks I'm a fucks with you. I'm going to come on down. We're going to we're going to spend some money. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> all right, man. We'll be there soon. All right. Yes, sir. All right. 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 Hey, bro, where you at? 
Hey, listen, I think this guy's ready to suck some dicks. He's he's into it. Oh, my God. He thinks yeah, he we're hunting like ladies. He didn't know we're hunting that sausage. He Ooh. sounds like he gets chorizo on his tacos. He sounds like his gay name may be Alejandro. Chorizo with Spanish. some Emma. Like I just, I just want to massage his calf muscles. I know neither one of you sound like you have work in the morning. It's Easter weekend. So it's what, good bro, Friday. We, a, we just did a, we just did a, a fifty-hour week, bro. We got a, like two hours overtime each day. I what swear about to God, if I just did a fifty-hour week, I would not be prank calling the hotel. Okay, so you think you're superior? Why don't you go pick up a broom then since you got good work ethic, bro? Go pick up a broom. Go fucking mop some floors or fold some towels, dog. Yeah. No, nah, that's not phone what phone I do in the line of hospitality. I actually went to college, so <laughs> that's not my position. That's yeah, the maid that you're thinking of. Anybody, hotel, anybody can be a maid. Anybody can qualify to clean the room. You can qualify to clean the room. But anybody can't no, work at a front desk. Yeah, you actually need a high school diploma. You need a college degree. You actually need to, you know, have went to school and learn something to become a front desk manager. Would you get a fucking degree in gender studies, fool? The fuck you, you answer phone to the hotel with your degree, dog? I got my degree in hospitality and management. I'm only here to make extra money. Oh, okay, money. so you're the manager. Yeah. yeah. I'm basically only here to make extra money, but yeah. I have a college degree. So, so you got you're the manager and you're sitting here on the phone entertaining, pulling a prank call. Why don't you go fucking manage something, dog? Why don't you go pick up a broom? You just let your fucking workers do it and you don't do shit. What basically, a good manager yeah. you are, bro. Go fucking do something. Uh, I'm, I am. I'm at work. I'm on the clock. Are you? <laughs> I, I'm here. On, I'm here to tell you on behalf of your employees. Nobody likes you, dog. You don't do shit. You're not a leader. You're not a okay. good leader, bro. Go fucking help him clean something. I'm just here for my check and go, the go get restock that. the fridge. <laughs> go restock the fridge, bro. Go restock the fridge. Nah, that's still not my job. I check people in. Why, why don't out. you go throw a trash? Throw the still trash, bro. Job. Take the fucking trash out I for that lady. You. I guarantee you. Take the trash you. out for that lady, bro. You gonna let that lady go out by herself? You a punk, I bro. Hang up the fucking phone and get back to work. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Low lie. Yeah. You hang up the fucking phone and get back to work. You work at a hotel with your college degree, bro. I'm, and and I, I'm pretty sure you got the address to the hotel, so you can come to the hotel. You instead of be talking. And well, you ain't gonna do nothing like but fucking man. serve me, bro. Hello? You ain't gonna do shit. The customer is always right. You ain't gonna do shit. Can, Shut can, up. can I get back explain to work. something to you? This. These guys are literally. This, this is probably. About this. this is probably gonna come <laughs> as a. Talk to my boy Elasma, fool. Shut up. I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly who I am. Wait, hold on. And then just Somebody a is using this. Think from point of. Thank you for calling, Miss Wilson. Yeah, we're we're uh, uh, we're inspecting the room hole here, and we found a crack. And my brother wants to tell you about the crack he found. It's a crack in the wall. It's not like, you know, but he's acting a little strange. But here, take the phone. I don't, I don't know what he's talking about with the crack. Actually, we're uh we're du- we're dying Easter eggs in the room, you know, cuz Easter's on Sunday. Right. And uh we put the du- what? Do we have an aperture? Hello? What was the room? I'm here, mate. Yeah? I'm here. Uh, English? Okay. Uh, so I, I put the dye in the sink. And I filled the, you know, the whole sink with red dye. And I, you know, I dipped the eggs in there, and they're all nice and pretty. But uh, unfortunately, the sink is red now. It's an Easter sink. Uh, mm. Is that okay? Uh, no. Oh, well, I could put candy in some, like, Easter grass. You know, the ba- you put it in the basket, I put it in the sink, no one will notice. It'll just look like, the sink will look like an Easter basket. Have a good night. I cover it up real nice. Yeah. I'll let your, uh, 
not your style, mate, but um, that's not really going to flow. Wait, did you just turn into Father O'Leary? Who are you? I'm Scottish, mate. Oh, you're Scottish. Brak-brak-buk-buk-buk-nak-nak, right? Or something like that? No. The way you do... No. No? Well, how did, why did your voice just change? You, you sounded Hispanic, and now you're Scottish. What, what did you do? Hispanic? Yeah. Uh, don't know really what to tell you there. So what's, what's the charge for dyeing the sink red? Like, well, how much are you going to charge me? I'm charge you anything. Um, oh, okay. As far as the incidental fee goes, uh, oh. yeah, that's the two hundred dollar bill. Motherfucker! I mean, wait. I can go to the Home Depot down the street over here, and I could get some white paint, and I could paint the sink. Does that sound good? No, mate. That is porcelain. Man. It's what? It's porcelain. 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 That, you mean porcelain? That's what I said, mate. Okay. Well, I actually also uh, kind of broke this sink. And I saw this YouTube video where this guy used ramen to repair the sink. Uh, and it looked really good. He just used a ramen to fill a hole in the sink, and then he painted it, and it looked good. Can I do that? Uh, it would be very much recommended that you don't. Don't? Uh, Steve? I can't understand this guy. Can you yeah, help you, me out here? Do you say porcupine? I don't know. He said something about parcelin, and I thought he meant packages like the people deliver. I wait a minute. He, he, like a what, what, okay, what? Pa- oh, parsley. I was way off. No, parsley meat. Parcel. A parcel? Parcel. I, 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 wait. You said porcelain. Now you're yeah, talking this. about packages. Yeah, what, what is this guy talking about? Maybe you should learn how to talk before you answer the phone. Is, huh? is, did you call UPS? What is this? I thought I called the front desk, but now he's talking about parcels. No, we didn't order thing, anything from Amazon. We don't order from big big companies like that. We'd like to shop small, small business. Yeah, we like to shop small businesses, and then the small businesses get big. And then they become big businesses, and then we burn them down, and then we shop at the small ones again. Yeah, we pick at them oh, yeah, for so no good. reason. And it's an elf meet. Yeah, what, what's going on there Sunday? You doing anything? Still you. And you said another word I don't understand. What did you say? Could not tell you. Okay, you said something that took like one second to say, and then when I asked you to say it, you said, could not tell you. Yeah, I think, he's, like three to... <laughs> I think he's talking to you like you're, you're a stupid. Yeah, no, me. no respect. I get no respect. No mate. He's not yeah, allowing you to mate anymore? Oh, no mating in the rooms. He's... He's yeah. telling us the policy. Okay. No fuck. No, I'm not. No. What's the charge really, if we? Really what's the charge it. if we have sex in the room? Yeah. Are we Let's like as men allowed to have sex, or does it have to be with a woman? Me, I don't yeah. care who you sleep with. Easter. Well, what would you pick? My wife. You have a wife? Is she hot? Is there anything else I can do for you, mate? 
My wife's right here. Her name's Miriam. <laughs> yeah, Miriam. Come here. Don't ignore my wife. Talk to her, dude. She's calling you. Put your fingers. Put your fingers in our wife. <laughs> Thank you for calling the Fairfield Ian Boca. How can I help you? Hey, hey, Me and my you, friend Elasma. We want to Hello? know if you'll quit calling our room. Talk, quit calling our room talking shit. I have asthma. <laughs> I'm not calling any rooms. What do you say? I'm just you gave my friend an asthma. You get he. You just gave him an asthma attack. We just calmed him down. Sir, I, I just came asthma. in. I just started my shift at eleven o'clock. I have not called Stop anybody. Calling. I have asthma. Oh. Then who was it that called him and Sir, gave I have him not asthma. called about an asthma attack. I'm I'm just starting the shift. My you name You breathed into asthma. you breathed into his face and gave him asthma. <laughs> Thanks for calling Tom Place Suites. This is Nate speaking. How may I help you? So you're naked? No, no. I said this is Nate. Oh, close yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. How can I help you? So my friend is, uh, he, he's in here. He had a, he had a little bit of an asthma or a panic attack. Uh, tomorrow's okay. his wedding day and we were, we were just toasting and, and he fell and he hit his okay. he hit he hit his he hit his asshole on several things in the room and broke them. He, um, so he's not getting married tomorrow, I take it. Well, no, no, he's getting he's getting married. That's what he's panicking about. But he keeps falling back backward asshole into things and breaking it and knocking it over. Thank you. Okay, um, how would you like me to handle this? Can you guys um? I would. Oh, there he goes again. Problem? There, there he goes. That's the TV. He, he's charging. He's charging. I'm cleaning inan- that tower in the bathroom. It yeah, he's tr- so dirty. He's charging inanimate objects with his asshole like a bull in a china shop. So he he stuck a whole shampoo bottle up his ass and he keeps squirting and he goes, "Look, I'm a soap dispenser." Oh no! Oh. Well, how long are you guys in the room for? Until tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, Until we check tomorrow. out. And, he, and okay. then he checks out for the rest of his fucking life. Oh. Right, right. Well, um, I will leave a note, but, I mean, he might have to um, pay the incidentals for that. And, um, yeah, that, that's probably all I can say on okay. that. But, Guys, um, we gotta leave a, we got to leave a note. we got to leave an IOU. No, no, you don't have to leave a note. I'll leave the note. But um, I, if there are charges on his credit card, then I that might be why. Oh, hi, Felix. Yeah. We have a cat yeah, up here, too. Okay, He's doing a show for us. Oh, wow. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the show. Um, I don't want to have to yeah. kick anybody out of Felix, the room. So jump, as long as... jump for some crunchies. Some I just crunchies? ask that you guys don't disturb the uh, yeah. the other guests. Uh, don't disturb the no, other guests. Okay, got yeah, it. Hang on. We're not disturbing right. the other guests now. Right. Touch it. Anna Pelkovic. Hey, I'm here to RSVP for the Easter egg hunt. We don't have that, sir. Yes, it's on Sunday. I got the flyer right here. This is not. We don't have. We don't have anything here for that here at, at the end of Pelican Bay, sir. Yeah, you guys do because it was on a flyer in my car in the parking lot, dude. It says call you to RSVP. I don't have anything, sir. Sorry. We'll find oh, him next week. Mic. You'll smell him out. Exactly. Also on Tweet, so I'm like a dick pig. Hi. Um, Hello. We have, yeah, hi. We we found an animal in the hallway. We brought it into our room. We're trying to identify the owner. Do you guys allow pets or something in here? We do. What room are you in? Uh, we're in 215. I found this one, uh, outside. I guess, outside of the elevators here on the second floor. And uh, there, there, it, it's a pig. It's a pig. 
Yeah, and it has a collar on it, but the the only thing is, it, it, like, it's got its name on it, but no real identification, like a phone number, an address, or anything like that. Okay. What What's the last name on your room? Johnson. Okay, I don't have a Johnson in 215. Chai uh, with two N's, J-O-H-N-S-O-N-N. Uh, yeah, I don't have anyone in 215. Uh, well, they moved us to this room. Is it possible they just didn't update the records because they didn't move us to this room because we were having problems with our toilet? Yeah, I don't have a Johnson anywhere. Yeah, that's what your wife says. <laughs> that's a good one. That was pretty clever. Ah, I needed the brunch, but oh, hang on. Yeah, I needed that. But it, man, you you missed it. It was gonna be it was gonna be the whole big story. The name of the pig was gonna be a dick pig. Like it was gonna be great. And you, <laughs> and you fucked it up by being too clever. You you found uh, me out. Damn, sorry, man. You pro- you probably went you probably went to like community college or something. I did not, but you didn't. Oh, you didn't right, well, have a full diesel night. college, did you? No, I was in the military. Oh, fucking God bless you, sir, and thank you for your service. I appreciate it. Have a good night, man. All right. Yeah, you have a good one. Night. Nice. Bye. Guest services, call C. How may I help you? Hello. I'm here Hi. to RSVP for the Easter egg hunt with my boyfriend. We Hi. got the fly. We got the we got the flyer, and we we haven't found the golden egg yet. Like, how many holes in the wall do we need to make in order to find it? Like, where is it? We're following the map. We found two huevos under the pillow, but that was it. Um, I think you have to call tomorrow when there's a manager on shift. Sorry. Hang, hang on. It, keep keep her on the phone. I'm gonna I'm gonna start hammering the wall. He's gonna start hammering the wall, okay? Yeah, that's cool. I gotta go though. Why? It's not like you got a job. Yeah. What do you do all day? All she does is talk on the phone. I've seen you on your phone, like, texting, like, five times. Your, man, your, like, real boss doesn't get mad at you for that? I mean, you can feel free and calm down, and we can have a chat about it. I don't want to talk to look. you. First yeah. of all, I'm gay. Second of all, you're not that pretty. Yeah, look, she I just wants to waste more time talking. Not bump. She doesn't know how to get down to business. I said we can chat, not bump. Okay, well, you got to buy me a couple drinks first. I know I'm a super attractive gay man, but still. That's good for you. He's got a hog on him. That's good for you. I got to go. That is good for me. Big chorizo. I got to go. It's, it's good and greasy, too. He's Hispanic. Guest services, Carl speaking. Hey Coral, my name's Jim, uh, Osama Bin, Osama Bin, sorry, I'm Jimmy, how are you doing today? Good, and you? I can't complain too much, I'm just calling to RSV for the Easter egg hunt. I have a uh, one ten month old, uh, and my grandma's going to come as well. She's not going to be doing any Easter egg hunting. Um, I have no recollection about the Easter hunt that might be going on our property, if you would like more information, you can call tomorrow at 8 o'clock. The manager should be in. Uh, well, we got a flyer on our car saying to call in to reserve reservations at any time. Yeah. Um, I don't know personally There's where... There's any time. Yeah, I don't know personally where the reservation would go to or how I can make it in our system. Um so, okay. All I can do, I can take down your number and. Are you are you are you the one you're the one doing the Easter egg hunt though, right? Pardon? You're the one doing the Easter egg hunt, right? 
I'm actually not quite sure. I haven't heard anything. Um, that's why I said, like, I can take down your number and I can have the manager call you back. I mean, I'd rather just do it now. I work overnight, so I don't really, I'm not going to be up at 8 o'clock. Um, all right, so I'll it take your the number. It hunts about, it's going to be at 6 p.m. Okay, um, I can take down your number so and your name. Back. I just want, I just want to give you, but can you please just take my reservation? Yeah, that, I don't know that's you're what I'm saying. Difficult. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'll take your name and your number, and I'll put you're you down for the time. You're making terribly difficult, ma'am. I, I, I don't know why, why you have to be so difficult with this. Just can you please take my reservation? Just take it. Yeah, I'll take your reservation right now. So what's your name? Okay. It's Jimmy or Simba. And your phone number? Why do you need my phone? Why? It's on your call ID. Can you just look at your call ID, please? Um, our phones don't. I just operate got this like phone that. a little bit ago. You mean I don't? What do you mean you don't have caller ID? It's 2024. How do you not have caller ID in 2024? It's a landline you're calling through. Yeah, I remember in the 90s I had a claim on your caller ID. Okay. Anyways, you said 6 p.m. you're showing up, right? Well, we're talking 30 years ago. What? You said 6 p.m. you're showing up, right? Yeah, that's the time that... I'm not, how do you not know the Easter egg hunt is happening on your property, ma'am? Because I work overnight. Okay. Well, you don't, well you're not there before 6? No. Okay, well, what did, what did we... So I took down your reservation, and we'll see you tomorrow. Or okay. we'll see you on the day of Easter. It's on Sunday. What are you talking about? It specifically says Sunday, ma'am. I'm starting to think you have no idea what I'm talking about, and you think I'm crazy. That I just said we'll see you on the day of Easter. What, what are you... Easter? No, it's not. It's for Bunny Day. Hold on, let me put you on the line with my lawyer. Okay, hold on. My lawyer, I'm putting you on the line with my lawyer right now. Hold on. Thank you for calling Akita. This is George. I can help you. Hello? Hello? Hey, there's a hole in the room. There's a what? There's a Hello? hole in the room and a little squirrel comes out of it. Okay, I, I'm. Who, who's this? Hello. My name is Busi. Okay, what's your room number? Two one five. Okay. Two one five. And you say there's a hole yeah, in the room, done. and what comes out? My, I'm in the room one five, and my name is Doctor Busi. And the big, a big fucking hole in the wall, and a squirrel mm -hmm. coming in and out of the room. Just a big squirrel coming in and out. Wow, that's incredible. All right, let me go to your room now. I'll be right there. Okay, he, I'm gonna change your room he anyway. He tries grabbing my. He tries grabbing my nuts. <laughs> that is funny. All right, so. Let's see. Give me a second. Maybe please. you come into my room. Maybe you come into Give my room a... and I I put my nuts right there and then you put in your nuts and the squirrel can pick which nuts to take and put it in his <laughs> mouth. Okay, who is this? It's me, Dr. Pussy. Yeah, Dr. Pussy, okay. <laughs> you right. remember me, man? You remember me, man? I have no it's idea me, who Dr. you Pussy. are. <laughs> hey, I'm back, All man. Right. I'm here for you. I kiss you. Okay, who's this again? 215, let me see. All no, right. don't do the room, man. Come on, man. Don't come into my room because I, I accidentally the pillow. You accidentally what? I accidentally the pillow. I don't know what you're saying, bro. Uh, the pillow, right. I accidentally, accidentally to the pillows. 
All right, listen, I don't have time for this. It's fun while you have it lasted, but can I help you with something else? Oh, shit. Ted, Ted is right here. Ted, and he wants to give me a towel? Easter <laughs> school. Right, you, have a, you have a good night, bro. You want a towel? Thank you for calling La Quinta Benita Springs. This is Christy. Hi, Christy. Um, me and my uh, my daughter's Girl Scout troop are selling Marlboro cigarette cartons. Are you interested in purchasing any by any chance? Oh, no, thank you. Are you, are you sure? Cause, I mean, these are premium ones. They don't even have the tax stamps on them. We got them from Tijuana. Yeah, well, I cannot do that, but thank you anyway. That, that's okay. You can you can put them in your trachea. They smoke real smooth that way. <laughs> Oh, lady, you didn't hang up the phone right, lady. We're still on the phone. Hello, lady, is go your back name to hang Joe? up phone school. Is your name Keep Joe flashing. Rosenthal? Hello. Yes, Joe Rosenthal, flows team. Hello, lady. Oh, beautiful lady. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You are being transferred to... Operator. Yay. I like the operator. Oh, yeah. Thank you for calling me on fifth. This is Jesse. How can I help? Hi, Jesse. I'm in my room and my panties fell off. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, sir. I, you know, I tripped. Listen, I think there's a, like a loose thing on the floor. I tripped and my panties fell off. Your panties, sir? Yeah, I tripped. I, I like I don't know if I caught my toe on something, if it was the, the it was the flooring of some type. You know how sometimes like when you're playing football they they're like, Oh, it's a turf monster or a carpet monster. I think it got me and then my panties fell off. Wow. Is there anything you think I'd be able to do to make this uh better for the evening? Anything I can do to help? I just need someone I to, I just need someone to come up but... to come upstairs and pull them up for me. Hmm. I'll see what I, I see what I can do. It's only myself tonight, sir, so I'm pretty short-handed. Okay. If you have a pool or a cabana boy to do it, that would be ideal. <laughs> All right. Thank you for calling. I ain't I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't gay though. I'm just I'm just saying. I heard they do wonders. Right on. Okay. Thank you for calling. So like, if they came to pull my panties up for me, like I would not expect them to put a, like any type of like phalanges into my anus or anything. I'm just like. Purely professional. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. So no fingers Anything in else my to... asshole, all right? No, no, no. That's no. It, that's it. I don't want to waste. I don't want to waste your time. Thank you. It is quite precious. All right. Yes. Do you have a big? I do. Thank you. There's somebody just came by. They're gonna help me, sir. All right. There you go. Have a great night. He admires my big penis. Oh. Now she'll be the jealous wife on the phone. Watch. Good evening. Thanks for calling Hyatt House Naples. How may I be of service? Oh, my God. Your phone is messed up. Can you hear me now? Yeah, actually. Um, Is there a manager I can talk to or a man? Um, I don't think... I, I think it's more of a guy thing. In my room, something happened. Okay, I do have my security agent available who's a man. Did you prefer to speak with him? Yes, please put him on the phone. Yeah, give me just one moment. Double Trailey speaking. Yeah, I kind of have an issue. Something happened in the room, and uh, I was wondering if you could help me out. What room are you in? Well, no, you see, I, I, okay. I just want to be serious, uh, be forward and honest. I cheated on my wife at this hotel, but I was wondering if you could be a witness and say that you saw me running with my shoes untied and I accidentally slipped and I fell onto the woman. And that's how I cheated. I fell with my penis out by accident. If you could just. Thank you for your call, sir. It was an accident. Innovation Hotel. Hi, is there a man I can speak to, please? Man, I'm 
may I ask who's speaking? Uh, this is Jake Sweeney, and I need to speak to a man. Uh, this is between me and the dude, not a not a girl. I'm sorry. Okay, where are you calling from? Are you in the hotel? I have a room, and this is exactly why I wanted to talk to a man. You just won't understand. Okay, give me just a moment. Hello, man. This is security. How can Hello? I help you? Security, yes. brother. I need I need your help. I need your help, man. What happened? I have... Okay, so I had a room and I had a girl here with me and my wife found out. But I need your help, man, because I cheated on my wife. But I need you to say you saw me running with my shoes untied and I just fell down with my penis out. And that's how I accidentally landed on the woman who was laying on the bed. You could just say it was an accident to my wife. She'll, she won't leave me. I need your help, man. Man, th that's a story that is impossible to believe. No, if but see, if, if we both say it to my wife, she'll believe it. We just both need to tell her. Nah, that that's impossible. No, man, if we both say the same thing... She'll believe me. Please, man, I need you to tell her this. She's she's waiting right here. Cat? Cat? Uh, give me a minute. Just just give me a minute. Please, brother. Please, yeah. brother, please. Let me see what I can do. Give me a minute. Hey, man. Yes, here. I'm going to go. Here's my wife. I'm going to go to her room right now, man. Remember, I was running. I tripped. And you're going to tell her, okay? Hold on. Hey, uh, what, what, what's your name and room number? My name is Jacob Sweeney. You say it was an accident. I was in the wrong room. Here, here she is, here she is. Hey, can, you, can, can you repeat your name and room number again? Hello? Are you the, the front desk guy? All right. All right. Wait, well, I'm, baby, believe him. He's gonna tell you what happened. That it was an accident. It didn't. It wasn't on purpose. Yeah, I want to know what the fuck happened in this room. Hello. Hi. Are you another front desk person who can tell me what the fuck happened in this room? Excuse me. You're calling the front desk, but we don't even know what's going on in the room. What room are you guys in? That's not her, baby. I swear, oh. that's not her, baby. Are you the one who was in the room? In the room? I just got on shift. What uh, What are you speaking about, ma'am? What room are you oh, in? Oh, you just got on shift because you were just in the fucking room, huh? No, baby, I swear that isn't her. Is this That's fucking her? her? Is this her? No, baby, I swear. You guys have a good day. Ah, baby, please don't hit me. Fuck ah, you. Don't, don't hit me no more, baby. Ah. <laughs> Oh, very good, very good. Good evening. Thanks for calling Ritz Carlton Maple Steve. We're on Castle Speaking. How may I assist you? Hello? Oh, hi, my penis is out right now. Can you help me put it away? Um, Maybe tomorrow. What do you think? Would be okay? What time would you like? Uh, in the morning, if you want to come help me put my morning wood back in my pants. Absolutely. Uh, it's going to happen? Yes. Hello? You can call me... Hello? 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 Hi, hold on, hold on. I got, I got something for you. Hello? Hello? I can't hear you. Hello? Hello, thank you for calling, Ms. Wester. How may I help you? Hello? Hello? Hi, um... Hello? Jimmy? Hello? Uh, I... Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, what's, what's going on? How did you... What? Uh... Is, is there... I think the phone system is kind of buggy. Yeah, who, who is this, though? This Hi, is the front desk. Did you call my room? Uh, my no, line? I did not call your room. How did you... Uh, Hello, what? Pizza Hut, how may I take your order? Why Can is I have um, on my one brownie pizza? Okay. Look, I got a girl in here who's what? feeling my penis like a banana, and you guys call I me and interrupt. I didn't know food. 
Can I have some bread on the side? Who the heck is this? Garlic or Parmesan? Come. What? What? Hi, John. No. Super 8. Hi. Hello? Yeah, there's a problem in the goddamn room. Uh, what room are you in, sir? I'm in the big room with extra window and door, and there's a big-ass hole in the wall. I'm sorry, what number is this? Big one, five. Uh, room 105? And I'm pretty pissed off, so I'm going to let you talk to my... I just can't because I'm going to say something to you, and it's it's not your fault. I'm just really pissed. So I'm going to let you talk to Ted. Ted's my boyfriend. Okay. Uh, my name is Ted. Uh-huh. Here you go, baby. Talk to the lady, baby. Now, I'm an attorney. I'm, I'm out of the, the law firm Morningwood and Stiffy, and I represent my client here. Now, in an interrogation, you you do have uh, the right to have an attorney with you. So uh, go ahead and talk to her, and I'll tell you whether or not to answer her question. Hey, now. Um, All I need to know, what room are y'all in? Yeah, I think my clients are drunk. Uh, 215? In room 215? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and what is the problem? Uh, there's there's uh, no my one in client, room 215. My client does... Do what now? Well, you weren't supposed to know because you're just a regular employee. The manager hooked me up. Oh, well, I I couldn't tell you because she's not uh, on the unit. I mean, she's not here in the office, so I don't know. I mean, exactly we used is. to could stay here for free once upon a time, but. I, I have no clue. I have no idea. Uh Like I said, I, I don't, don't, I don't know. So what is the problem? Oh, shit. There's Elasma. Elasma has asthma. He's right here. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, Elasma. my right time. Thank you for calling Starlight Model. If you know your party's room number, please dial it now. For the front desk, please dial Oh, hell yeah. I just oh, fucking God. sound that's 200 percent banjo. That sounds like yeah. She mom. said model, model. You know that. Hello. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, Starlight Model. How can I help you? Hi, this is David Hartcross, paranormal investigator. Uh, I don't know if they told you I was coming by. I got my team here. We're about to start shooting for the show. I, you may have heard them. That it's my team. And when are you going to call? No, they didn't tell you. Okay, no. well, basically what I am is I'm kind of like a spiritual exterminator, if you know what I mean. Basically, uh, I'm a paranormal investigator, I'm a psychic, I'm a medium, and I'm just kind of drawn to, like, evil presences in the world. And for some reason, I'm drawn to get a room here mm-hmm. with you guys to mm-hmm. expel that. And so I've actually already got the room, and we've been given the okay to, like, burn sage and everything. I got my camera guy... Um, you know, Daddy Fat Sacks, you know, Dwight over here is my boom guy, and, you know, Ted is my producer, so they didn't tell you about any of this. We're actually shooting a show here. It's going to get you guys a lot of business, but, I, you know, they gave us permission to burn a lot of sage in the room and everything because I'm expelling the spirits. Yeah, somebody told me about the 14th April they are, they need some rooms, I mean... 
Hang, hang on, I'm trying to secure the I'm trying to secure the lighting. I'm trying to secure the lighting in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, just take that little that wall. You don't gonna, need that. Just get I'm that out of there. I'm gonna anchor it. I'm gonna anchor it to the wall. Yeah. Yes, yeah, thank you. That's great. That's that. great. So yeah, that you know, that's my uh, boom guy. He's also the lighting guy. Um, but yeah, they gave us the okay to you know basically renovate this room as needed to, to shoot our show. I can't believe they didn't tell you about it, but. Um, yeah, basically you got a Ouija board, I'm burning sage in here, um, it's basically a full-blown seance we're going to expel, uh, I don't know if they told you guys, we found a lot of actual physical evidence of ghosts, there's a lot of, um, we used a UV light, there's a lot of ectoplasm on the bed and on the walls and on the floor, and that's just like, that's evidence of physical manifestation, and so that's why they called us in here to do the, to do the show. So what do you want me to do? So what I need from you, um, if you wouldn't mind coming up, and we need somebody to kind of, uh, I think we're on the second floor. I don't know. I can, we can, you can talk to my producer, Ted, if you need, if you need to. Uh, he would have set it all up. He might have more information for you. But basically, I, I mean, we're kind of behind schedule because I'm supposed to already be cast in spells and shit. I don't understand. Did, what was the status on that, on that wall? We need to get that wall out, Dwight. Yeah, I took the whole wall out. I took the whole wall, so it, it's it's out of our way now, so that we can we can cast spells on the people next door. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's the next part too. Yeah. Well, that's that's our other. We do a couple couple of shows. One of them. One of them is like kind of like white hat. One of them's you know black magic, black hat kind of stuff. So we like expel spirits, but we also cast curses on you know on other people. But we we expel the we spirits need you into, the into the room. Yeah, we need you up here to to basically we got to get you on camera talking about you know there's ectoplasm everywhere. Clearly, a ghost's been here, so I'm sure you must have experienced something weird around here. You could talk. Thank you for calling Best Western. How may I help yeah. you? Ah. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Hey, this is David Hart Cross, paranormal investigator. I'm here with my team. Did they tell you I was coming down? Um. I'm sorry. This uh, I just came they in. They should have told you we're doing a show. Oh, okay, that okay, that makes sense. It's a shift shift change. We get it, you know, all the time. Then they often don't tell people, you know, who are going to be dealing the front desk the most important things. But they told us to relay information through you. Basically, we got a room for you guys, and we're shooting a show. So we got to okay to like kind of renovate the room a little bit while we do our show. And what it is is, uh, my name is David Hartcross. I'm a paranormal investigator. Um, I'm a psychic and I'm a medium and I'm kind of drawn to get rooms at different places and that's what my show, it follows me. Um, yeah, yeah, you just take that wall out. Um, but anyway, basically, um, I, I've been drawn to get a room here. I'm doing the show for you guys, getting you guys a little more business, but I'm also expelling the, the spirits and the evil juju and bad energies that, that commence here. And they didn't tell you about any of this. No, sir. What was your name again, David? That's David Hart Cross, yeah. But anyway, it may not have been in my name. I got my producer here, you know. Um, I got my lighting and and camera guy. I got a boom guy. And there's me on screen talent. So my producer would have set it up. They just told me to call. Basically, I'm trying to do a status update because they gave us the okay. Like, we're renovating stuff. I'm already burning sage in here. They said that was fine if we just took all the detectors and everything. Hey, uh, I, got the de- this, I got the uh, detector. Cylinder? Yeah, I got it down. I think it's the sage. I can't be sure, though. Yeah, it's probably bad presences. There's probably that 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 uh, detector is probably possessed. Yeah, it's definitely bad actor spirits. They're trying to dissuade you from doing the uh, sage. Yeah, they're not going to stop me. Exodus spiritus, bat demons, get back. In the name hey. of Jesus and the goddess. Hey. Yes. Oh. Hey, did you- do one of you guys have a ghost vacuum? Because I need to David. I need to clean up all these spirits you are playing. Yes, David. Back David. Action. Yes, ma'am. Let me get your phone number. Uh, I, I don't know what number it's actually under. They 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 asked us to come here because we're doing the show and we're getting you guys business. But I was kind of trying to give you a status update. This room is heavily infected. There's, uh, there's ectoplasm everywhere. Right we hey, got a UV light out. Painting. 
and it's showing ectoplasm everywhere on the bed, oh, on the head. Back, demon, back. David, I need your phone number. Um, what? Uh, closer to the center of the room. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. I need your phone number where I can call you back. Okay. No, you don't need to call me back. I need to ask you. This room is infested heavily. The, room, the, the rate's going to be higher because I'm a special. Okay. I was in and sweet time. I help you. Back demon. Exodus Spiritus. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hi. Yeah, I'm staying in one of your rooms. It's David Hartcross. They tell you about me. I'm shooting a show. I got my team here. Back in the name of Jesus. Yeah, I will fuck your soul. Hey, they didn't tell you about me. It's David Hartcross, a paranormal investigator, psychic and medium. They hired me to expel the, the demons from this room. Back. Back in the name of Jesus. The power of Christ compels you. Hello, sir. Oh, no. Defecate. Oh, Dave Coulier's character. Had... Hey, how you doing there, Mater Chode? Uh, do you have rooms available? <laughs> hey, Uh-oh. Are you, La- are you Safanda? Safanda Cruz? Hello? Hi, um, talk to Dwight. Hi, hey, um, so that's that's my wife, um, and she just told me that she wants to come down to the front desk and uh, fuck you. Uh, would that be okay with you? Yeah, it's, it's okay. Just um, if you want to fuck me. No, he wants. Uh, she wants some um, some hal- halal sausage. Okay, I can just call the cops and they can help your wife out. You okay, want me to call them? I want your little chode. I want your little chode. Why would you call cops? You, you don't have... I'm calling Holiday Express. This is Tawana. May I help you? Tawana Hello? what? Hi. Yeah, you Tawana uh, what? Uh-huh. May I help you? Yeah, I, I, you, um, you said you Tawana do something. What What do you want to do? Nothing. I won't see what you want. No, it's Tawana Man. Tawana Man. Oh, you're a basketball player. You're a man, but you're playing as a woman basketball player. (laughs) That came up. About Tu Wong Fu. Hello? Radio Hotel? Yeah, Yeah. this is Uh, David Hartcross. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello? Exodus Spiritus. In the name of you. Hello? Radio Hotel? Hi. Did it? Hi, this is David Hartcross. We got a room here, um, and me and my team have been shooting a show here. They didn't tell you about me. Um, I'm sorry, I can't hear you at all. Sorry, that's the spirit. I'm a paranormal investigator. I go across the country and I hunt down. I'm I'm spraying hot water on him now. So anyway, I'm calling. They didn't tell you about me. They said they told me that you would know when I called you. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, grandma. Oh, there's a presence. I'm sensing a presence of an old elderly woman. Quality in. How can I help you? Hi, it's getting worse in here. Like, I got here, and it smelled bad. I I threw that to the wind, but, you know, now I, I open the bed sheets, and there's chocolate smeared all up and down on the sheets. At least, I think it's chocolate. It's uh, 215, and my son's got diarrhea. What room are you in? 215. Our sound... Take the phone. Dad? Hello? I'm making, I'm making doo-doo, doo-doo caca in here. Did you talk to the front? Thank you for calling Days in Bernalillo. This is Daniel. Hey, Daniel. This is David Hartcross. Um, they tell you about me. There's a, there's a problem with the toilet up here. What's going on? What's going on? Um, man, it's been a whole ordeal. I, I, I called and got a couple other people. I, 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 they didn't tell you a thing, I guess. Um, this no. toilet, there's a problem with the toilet. No. What? I've never heard a toilet make this sound before. Well, Hi, this is the front desk. 
Oh my God, there's something in there. I'm David Hartcross. There's a problem with my toilet. Who's taking the shit? No, I'm David Hartcross, paranormal investigator, okay? I think this, I have reason to believe this is spiritual in nature, sir. They didn't tell you about me? Because I've been shooting a nope. sh- show here, but the nope. toilet's just the other, just the fucking shrimp on the barbie, you know? There's a fucking, the toilet, first of all, I've been doing this. Oh, it's not. I'll talk to you. Hold on. Let me put wait, you wait, wait, wait. Uh, well, I'm doing hard cross. More than that, sir. There's a ghost. No way, anyway. Thank you for calling the Santa Star Casino Hotel. Hello? My name's Robert. Can I help you? Hi. Yeah. Some guy brought a horse into my room. Is this normal? Hey. Hello. I'm just gonna. Go out to Sky City Casino Hotel. This is Harold. How can I help you? Yeah, you're a fucking loser. You know that. Hi. Hello. Exactly. Take it for Express. My name is Jim. Oh. oh God, we got a problem here. The slot machine caught fire. It lit my hair on fire. I don't know what the hell to do in the bathroom. Ah! Ma'am, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am, are you okay? Ah! Ew, gather up them. Co- Hello? Oh, hello. Hello there. Hello? Yes. Oh, good. I I was wondering if you had any rooms available for tonight. Uh, no. No, we don't. Sorry. Oh, oh, where do I go? Better get a room or else, woman. I swear I will beat you. Oh. At Tetris. Oh. Hello? Hello? I uh, yeah, let me put my brother on. He's driving, but I'm I'm farting. Oh. Hi, yeah, hi, hello. Hi, sir. We're gonna sit outside of your uh outside in your uh your parking lot, and we're we're gonna wait for a room to become available. What's the room or uh, the address? What's the address to your hotel? Uh, we don't have a hotel. We're in fact we're not oh, even birds. open right now. Okay, well, but what, what's the location address? Go. We're not open. We we have thirty five yeah. people in this VW bug and we're on our we're on our way. You better you better tell us the address right now. Oh, tell maybe it's, maybe it's to the left. Maybe it's to the left. Let's go to the Thank left. Thank you for calling the Comfort oh, Suite, no. Gallup East, Route Six. Sorry, I didn't get that. Please wow, choose from the following options. Yeah, you have to, horsey. Come on, Gallup for me, horsey. Be my horse now. Hello. Thank you for calling the King Tenant Suites and Gallup. How can I help Hi. You? Is it all right if me and my friend in the room, uh, I have him gallop like a horsey and I ride him around? Is that okay? Thank you for calling the Kingston and Sweets and Gallop. How can I help you? Hi, ma'am. Um, I'm in a room and this man keeps trying to put a bridle bit into my mouth and make me gallop like a horse and neigh. I did not sign up for this. I'm just, I'm just a Come gorgeous on, driver. Man. Just, just let me ride you like a horse. Thank you for calling Colonial. Hello? Hi, Colonial. Yes. I just want to let you know that I was experiencing some crazy stuff in the room when I played with the Ouija board. So I called in a paranormal investigator to come um, exercise the ghost out of the room. Exodus Spiritus. Back demons. Back evil spirits. Exodus Spiritus. And what room is this? I'm just letting you know that if you guys hear noises or anything crazy, we got a camera crew and um, there's a producer here and they're going to film it. They're part of Ghost Hunters and burn the sage. Yes. We're going to get the demon out of the room. Uh, one second, hold on. You have to speak to the manager one second. Spread that line of salt all the way across that door, Hello, just the whole canister. Hi, Colonial. I'm in a room, and I just want to let you know me and my boyfriend played with a Ouija board, and then a bunch of weird stuff started happening, so I called the paranormal investigator, and he came here, and he said that he can get the ghost out, but we got to go do kind of a couple things to get him out of the room. And I'm sorry, what room are so you So if you guys hear, like, noises, or... No, what room are you If you guys hear, like, noises... 
I don't want to say, but I'm just letting you know if you hear like people complaining well, about the second the floor noises, card. just ignore them. No, um, that, sorry, you you that, find the registration was, card here, and that's something that's very personal. We don't allow that here, and obviously someone's going to call the cops, so I need to know what room number you're in. No, no, no one's going to call the cops, I promise. We're going to be chill. Well, that's not allowed here. He's got here. holy water. The bathtub water is full of What do you mean it's not allowed water? here? How am I supposed to know there's not a ghost here or something? Come on, really? You guys don't even have a Bible in the little drawer anymore. Yeah, I can't see. That I can't stop my rights without the Bible, and I'm burning sage all over this room to cleanse it. But with the salt all above, you know, poured in front of the doorway, we used a whole canister. I, I, I need more, you know? And okay, it's, well, it's at this point, if, if someone calls the cops on you, that's your personal problem. No, we're, oh, nobody's oh, going to oh, call oh, the cops. Oh, oh, oh. We even got a Satanist um, here. He, you're They're going to get the demon. That's why you're calling he, you so, for awareness, right? I'm just, just letting you know if people call you and say it's loud to just ignore it for like an hour because we got a Satanist and a priest. We're going to get this ghost out. We're going to get him out. Demon. Back in the name of well, Jesus. I'm not going to allow that. So if room. somebody does call the cops on you, whether it's the neighbors or another tenant, then that's on you guys. Why are they going to call the cops? They're going to call you first. And what do you mean you're not going to allow it? You're not going to allow the ghost? You think the ghost gives a shit what you say? What a fucking entitled... Caters, caters a fun one. Oh, okay, Hi. Yeah, you have a room for an overgrown cooter. Okay. I'm coming. Skr, skr. Oh, you, you want to see the big cooter? Okay. Quit calling me that. Pull your panties down. Good evening, the Remote Resort Hotel. You're through to James. How am I direct your call? Hello, the Remote Resort Hotel. Hello. Rimbom Resort, Germany. We can actually help and hello. Hello, good evening. How can I help this evening? How can I help you? Would you like a room at the hotel this evening in Germany? Hello? Is yeah, I English? need a room in Germany. Yes, how can I help you? Rembrandt Hotel. One, one big room, please. Okay. And you... Your quick experience begins at the Blackstone Mountain Lodge. This is Jeff speaking. Yeah, I got a goddamn problem with the room. Okay, what is it? Your goddamn Canadian water or something kind of ruined my night. I went to take a shower, and it wasn't getting hot. And something happened, and my my girlfriend that lives out here left because it was cold. Because the water wasn't running hot at all? The water was cold for a little bit, and I was in a hurry. It started to get warm, but by then it was too late. She had already got here. So I came out, and let's just say something was not up to par, because the goddamn shower was cold. Okay. Um, is it is it still cold? Like, were you able to get the water hot? It, it got hot eventually, but it's too damn late now. You guys ruined my night. Okay. Well, if you want to come downstairs in the morning when there's a supervisor at front desk, you're welcome to make a complaint, and she should be able to no, give you No, no, you see what's going to happen? You see what's going to happen? You're going to tell my girlfriend that it's your guys' fault the water made something small because it was cold. She's on the phone right now. Her name is Cat. Okay. Cat. What? T- Listen to me. I promise you, it's bigger than that. It's just the, the shower was cold, and this lady's going to confirm it. Please. Full of shit. But okay. Is there something going on with the water, or is this shit just cold all the time? Uh, well, it shouldn't be cold all the time. I guess sometimes... It takes a little bit for the water to get hot, but I'm not in your room, so I can't tell you what the problem is. What's your room number? This is bullshit. You deal with her. I don't even want to tell you anymore. Thank you, though, for helping me out. I appreciate it. All right. (laughs) 
Big fat shoes. pussy. Big fat pussy. Big fat pussy. Big fat pussy. I'm hearing the... I'm, listen to me, bro. Damn. Let me talk. I'm hearing the big truck outside. Okay, well, you don't got to get sideways with me for one. You're not listening, though. I was trying to talk to you. You interrupted me. I'm trying to tell you there's a goddamn clown right here. His name is Downey the Clown. Says he works for you? Um, I don't know who you're talking about. Open in. Open your door. He's trying to get in my truck. He's got a pilot shirt on. You don't work for us, because... Open the door. Yeah. He's got a pilot shirt on. What do you mean he don't work for you? I work for him. We don't wear pilot shirts here. We wear Exxon Mobil shirts. We are Exxon Mobil Pilot 1-9. We're not a whole pilot. Exxon Mobil Talk to him, pilot bro. I'm just going to help the you? phone. Talk to this motherfucker. Hello? I'll be out in a second. Hey there. I got the flower and the shirt and the girl over there. She said it was all right if I knocked on these people's doors and asked for a little forgiveness and a little time. I, I don't know why he has a problem with me, to be honest. Let me in. Go ahead, come on in then. All right. Take down your trousers, sonny boy. Oh my god, that's what you wanted to do the whole time? With this salve, it'll solve your syphilis problems in no time at all. Yeah, come I blow you me. Were right with Lord. Oh no, they door open, that's a naked little old lady touching a man. Oh hell no. I'm going come downstairs here, with this. Come here, Downey. What are you doing? You crow or something when I'm driving like little black chicken. Come here. Hello. Listen, in, in my room, little black chicken. You see the, uh, the chicken, little black chicken? <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> I like Motel 6 in Chico. This is Vish speaking. How may I assist you today? Hey, man, um, I was walking by with my hot dog cart, and a mm-hmm. fucking guy from your hotel, his name is Dwight, he coming and telling me I'm not allowed to sell my fucking hot dogs in the parking lot? What is that, um, man? His name is Dwight, you would said? Listen, Paco, you get your El Taco cart out of here, I'm going to flip the motherfucker over. I'm just walking by, man, I'm just coming and I'm going, he wants to fucking flip in my cart. You better fucking talk to this guy, because he came out of your hotel, man. He's, he's probably fucking staying there, man. His name is Dwight. Listen, Dwight? the hotel doesn't take kindly to people selling out here without their food credentials, and I'm going to flip it over, and you go back to Tijuana or where you're from. Why do you care, man? I'm just fucking selling little hot dogs, man. Come listen, on. You, uh, listen, all right. You, what, what are you selling, meat chorizos? Here, listen. I'll, I'll flip that shit over. Get the fuck away from here. Talking to this man. Okay, man. Fuck, Talking fuck to you. this guy. Fuck you. I flipped your car over. Fuck your car. Fucking card. motherfucker. Here. Here he is. Talking to him. Hi. Uh, so I, I've, taken, I've taken care of the problem outside. Hmm. I see. Uh, do you want me to go ahead and uh, call the police just for good measure? No, no, I, I took care of him. Um, yeah, I'm one gonna, hot dog I'm gonna, video, please. I'm going to tell him that, hey, hey, he's out of business. He's out of fucking business. Listen, um, I'm going to tell him that you guys you trespassed him. Chorizo? He thinks he thinks I'm working. Hey, no chorizo. You're closed. Yeah, a lot of people. I'm going to tell He's got a fucking line out here. No. Oh, no, don't, don't. Oh, man, he's, he's big. Oh, back he's up. Close. Back up. Come here, you little motherfucker. I just want a crunch wrap. I just want to You want the jump? Hey, shut your mouth. Shut up. Don't shout. You mean hard to Why is it playing with all the problems? You don't know me! Don't motherfucker try to be smart ass! I'm fucking right here! Motherfucker! I'll make you pay $50! You motherfucker! You are not! You are the best! You are the fucking fucking! Flash him with the sauerkraut and the tortilla. Hello? Hi! Hey! Hi! 
This guy having a problem with my tacos. Can you fucking tell him this man is okay? <laughs> that guy's <laughs> racist. Milkman, you want to take us out of here? I'm tired. Um, I I walked more yeah. today than I have in like five or six months in a single walk, so I really pushed myself. You wore your bicho out. Yeah, I wore my bicho out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I need I'm to so. proud of you, Elasma. He, he, he wore his beef yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it up, man. Yeah, keep it up there, Axel. Yeah, man. Give you longer life. Yeah. There you go, folks. Another fun-filled installment of the Madhouse Militia Show. That's right. Our Madhouse Militia family is on a journey together. Together, we can overcome all adversity, pain, and fear, and anger in our world. We're learning that laughing at our problems melts away the grief of our troubles. So we find that our strength is the power of laughter, kindness, and joy. Boy, learning that differences are trivial and that we are all really more alike than different and that our healing and we are healing our collective souls with this magical power of laughter right here on the Madhouse Militia Show every week Friday at 10 p.m. right here in your ear balls. Madhouse Militia is saving the world one laugh at a time. We're dropping the dimes. We only ask that you give us the time, bring a friend or better yet, bring an enemy because they're Always welcome right here in the Madhouse Militia. And I just want to give credit to my dear brother, Edamon Nito and the Golden Headphones in Heaven. And thank you so much, dear Wasted Memory Machines, wherever you are, giving us a backbone. And all of us here in this crazy Madhouse Militia, especially my big brother, Axel, for helping me carry this gigantic torch of love to the world. So we all laugh together. Thank you so much, Axel. Touch it! Touch it! Touch it! Touch it! Touch it! Touch it!